I know one of you watching this video right now is having a birthday, and to celebrate, I brought you a clown that we can all laugh at together and really make your special day that much better. So please allow me to introduce you to Bozo. His name is BitBoy Crypto. He's a YouTube crypto influencer who is currently suing another YouTuber named Atozi. BitBoy is seeking $75,000 due to defamation and emotional distress that he experienced when Atozi made a mean YouTube video about him, saying less than pleasant things. And I personally am mortified to learn that someone was being rude to another YouTuber. That just makes my blood boil. That's just fucking unacceptable. So this lawsuit is one that's really hitting close to home here. Atozi was not playing by standard Weenie Hut Jr. rules, clearly. He made a video talking about BitBoy's past with shady crypto and just the general history of sketchy shit, which made BitBoy upset enough to file a lawsuit against him for the video. Now, I'm not here to opine on whether or not BitBoy is a scammer or anything. I'm not here to make any claims against him or any allegations. I'm just here to make fun of him. Uh, so don't worry, BitBoy. Don't, don't blow a gasket here. I'm, I'm not going to defame you. I'm just here to laugh at you. Every now and then, some pathetic, stinky worm decides it's a good idea to try and legally strong-arm a YouTuber they don't like with some lawsuit to scare them, or get money out of them, or get the video taken down, or something like that. And I always can't help but find it comical, because it never works out in their favor. This whole thing was about him being, you know, upset and riddled with anxiety, worrying that Itozi's video ruined his reputation, even though BitBoy's lawsuit has done significantly more damage than Itozi could have ever done. Angrily filing a frivolous lawsuit on the internet is like publicly guillotining yourself. It's reputational suicide. I promise you, Itozi's video did negligible damage to your brand. However, you have just completely wiped your ass with it. You've done the equivalent of going to the mall and shitting your pants and then trying to blame someone else for those shatted in britches. It's your fault now. So your reputation is trashed because of this lawsuit. The lawsuit is of course public, however I'm only going to be going through this article for the excerpts. I'm not going to bore you with the actual legal speak in there. So to break down the important bits, uh, Armstrong, BitBoy, is claiming that his livelihood was attacked by a Tozy by saying he's not someone you should be looking up to for any advice whatsoever and cannot be trusted with financial advice because you don't know whether he's trying to enrich you or himself. Maybe I'm biased here because I don't think anyone should be looking up to any YouTubers as their sole source of advice or information, but to me this doesn't seem like an attack on his livelihood at all. It just seems like a word of caution to anyone that finds his channel and like takes it as the end-all be-all for financial advice or anything. It's just like a boilerplate, hey, you'd never really know someone's true intention so just take it with a grain of salt. This doesn't seem like a malicious uh, attempt by Atozi to fucking burn down BitBoy's empire. The article then makes a great point by highlighting a contradiction between what BitBoy's lawsuit says versus what he presents online. BitBoy's business model relies on his reputation and his status as an influencer. Side note, influencer is still to date the cringiest term ever made. That shit is vomit inducing. That is such a yucky word. I.e. a well-known online personality who influences others' deci decisions such as to buy or sell cryptocurrency as investments. The complaint reads, introducing as fact that he is an industry-leading source of reliable commentary with respect to investments in cryptocurrency. Further, the lawsuit asks, can there be a more damaging assertion for someone like BitBoy Crypto who engages in the business of providing advice and commentary on cryptocurrency investments? Basically summarizing that the lawsuit portrays BitBoy Crypto as like an actual leading authority in the field of crypto investments and advice. However, it's a different song and dance when it comes to his online presence and what he himself identifies as. But on BitBoy's YouTube channel, he says his content is for general information purposes only. And cautions, please be advised that I am not a professional advisor in business areas involving finance, cryptocurrency, taxation, securities, and commodities, trading, or the practice of law. Nothing written or discussed is intended to be construed or relied upon as investment, financial, legal, regulatory, accounting, tax, or similar advice, nor should it be. You can see a big disconnect here. He's living a double life, you know, a Jekyll and Hyde situation. 
In the lawsuit, BitBoy is described as like a leading expert in cryptocurrency advice and investment opportunities and, and shit like that. You know, fucking GigaChad crypto god. So to say otherwise is blasphemous. You can't use the Lord's name in vain here, so it's super damaging to claim that he's not the, you know, preeminent expert on crypto. But then you go to his YouTube channel and he's no longer this Sigma male. Now he's all shy. Oh well, I guess I'm just making crypto content for general information purposes only. I am not an expert, so don't take my advice as the end-all be-all for crypto investment advice or information. So which is it? Is he a turbo barbarian industry leading authority on crypto news and investment advice like the lawsuit claims or is he just another fucking crypto bro clickbait douchebag YouTuber? Even aside from the very different tone on what BitBoy's role actually is, whether he's a leading expert or not, it still is a completely baseless lawsuit because he has no leg to stand on. In the article it even mentions that Armstrong has openly talked about some of the failures he's endorsed. Armstrong's lawsuit says the allegation is without any factual support. However, a CNBC story last week reported that Armstrong made over 100 grand a month promoting cryptocurrencies, including $30,000 alone for the failed Dist X cryptocurrency. That's a practice he says he now regrets because it led to some painful losses for his own viewers, CNBC wrote. Armstrong also promoted other, other fly-by-night projects like Ethereum Yield, Cypherium, and MYX Network. When those projects failed, he deleted the videos from his channel. So, what you're doing here is just highlighting even more so the awful shit you've done. Atozi made a general summation like a history of the weird and sketchy shady practices you've engaged in, which he's more than in his right to do, and you suing him to try and keep it under wraps and squeeze 75 grand out of him has shined an even brighter light on this kind of information. I would have never known that you've done these things. But since I and many others were laughing at you for this lawsuit, this information started to surface, which I imagine can't be great for business. The number one defense against defamation is the truth. And it's starting to look like that might be on a toesy side here. Once again, I'm not here to toss around any allegations, you know, I'm not here pointing the finger accusing you of anything other than just being an entertaining silly little goofy goober for this lawsuit. The article finishes with one more excerpt from the lawsuit saying that BitBoy's emotional state is fragile and he now suffers from severe anxiety that he will be perceived as a felon, a fraud, and untrustworthy in business or in general. The suit goes on to say that BitBoy now has recurring bouts of depression about whether defendants' defamatory statements will harm Ar Armstrong financially and socially and whether he'll be able to recover his good reputation and business as a result. You know what loses people's faith in you faster than just a random YouTube video? You making an absolute fucking fool of yourself by lashing out with a frivolous lawsuit. How do you expect your community to trust you going forward, even setting aside all of the scamming accusations? After this lawsuit, how do your viewers perceive you? Oh fuck, I can't speak out against this guy. He's ruling with an iron fist. I don't want to say anything less than tasteful. It might flare up his goddamn PTSD from being called a dirtbag on YouTube and he'll sue me. Shit. Oh man, BitBoy's really off the hinges now. Like, you lose faith and trust in your community because of this lawsuit, not because of his video. The people that watched Atozi's video aren't watching you, BitBoy. The people watching you are either geriatric or too fucking stupid to even find Atozi's channel in the first place. So you weren't losing money. You weren't suffering damages financially. Which is why you're not claiming like actual damages or losses because it's fucking crypto and you can't prove it. So you're just claiming emotional distress saying that you need 75 grand to wipe your tears with in order to feel better about one guy calling you a dirtbag. It's absolutely pathetic, and it's a super see-through attempt to try and strong-arm someone who's probably unfamiliar with the law and try and scare them. It's sickening. It's just a blatant attempt to try and bully a guy who called you out on YouTube. It's fucking sad. Trying to state things like anxiety and depression from what? Him just talking about you? Like mentioning your history and giving his opinion on your practices? It makes no sense, and I think it's very wrong. And now you look real stupid. Like you just seem like a completely insecure, untrustworthy asshole. And that has nothing to do with any of your crypto shit. I don't know anything about that, aside from what I just read in this article. 
So again, I'm not calling you a scammer. Don't even try and throw the word defame around here, BitBoy, when you watch this. I'm just talking about you as a person, your character. It's trash. This is dumb. And I can't stand it when people like BitBoy do this kind of shit, where they try and sue someone over absolute nonsense. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit because it happens every now and then and it always gets me a little fired up. So I wanted to at least bring it up. That's about it. See ya.